everyone, it is Krista here to do the weekly reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know your Moon and Rising sign Virgo, there's a link in the description box where you can learn your full birth chart. And that way, if you need additional information for the week, you can look at your Moon and Rising sign readings on top of your Sun sign reading today. This is for July 11th to the 18th. And it is a general reading, so whatever is most prominent in your life, I'll encourage you to apply these messages to. Uh, I'll be asking, what does your sign need to know in case there's any significant information there that you're not already aware of or some options that you have that you weren't aware of? And hopefully we can answer some of those questions for you. I'll be using the Medicine Card Tarot for the main five card spread today, and then additional message cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle Tarot and the Healing of the Angels Tarot. So Virgo, I wish for you all success, joy, and wellness. I call upon Archangels Michael, Gabriel, Metatron, and Uriel to guide this reading in peace, clarity, protection, and wisdom. And I ask that Gaia please bless this reading for Virgo. So what does Virgo need to know this week? All right, so your central card so far, Vir Virgo, is the wolf, and the wolf's keyword is teacher. Now, teacher is an interesting term just because we automatically assume that for a teacher to exist, we need a student, right? Um, but here's something interesting about being a student and being a teacher is that the, it is always in flux. The teacher is the student and the teacher. The student is the teacher and the student. In order to be an accurate teacher, you need to be, you need to put yourself in a position where you're willing to learn something new too. Even if you're the person with all the information and the lab coat and the chalk and you, you've got all the papers and you're technically the teacher, that student is there to teach you something you can't even have imagined or maybe aren't even ready for or could even be, heaven forbid, uh, in opposition to. You might not even be in a place mentally where you are willing or able for whatever reason to say, oh yeah, no, I'm going to bring that into my life. That's cool. I never knew that before. Um, and how peculiar or odd that it's coming from my quote unquote student. Okay. So essentially here, just meaning that someone that you didn't think that you could learn something from for whatever reason is, um, could turn out to be your most profound teacher and vice versa. If you're the student, um, that could very well um, be what's happening between you and your teacher at the moment. Another avenue in terms of symbolism uh, about how to read the card is that this has to do with something primal. There's a primal issue here. There could be an issue with um, a parent. There could be an issue with um, your own childhood, something having to do with psychic energy, the moon, um, family, camaraderie. Um, and when I say um, primal, I just mean ancient, something that is older than older than breath itself, something that's ancient. So perhaps just backing up for a moment in terms of what's being taught, um, that's a general issue. I'm not sure what that is for you this week, but in terms of who the teacher and the student is, um, the issue uh, that's being either taught or affected once it's spoken or realized um, will feel primal. Okay, um, this obviously is a healing element for you, so I encourage you to keep this up if that's what's going on here for you, okay? So what you're just coming out of and into this week in terms of energy uh, is found in the moose. And the moose's keyword is self-esteem. This is actually quite beautiful because it, it feels as though this is a um, sort of next level for you, like a next step. Like you've um, processed this element of self-esteem that you've needed to process. Uh, you've enhanced it. You've managed it highlighted it. Um, perhaps it's still a work in progress, but it's still a work 
all the same. And Virgo, don't take for granted that every zodiac sign does this work. Not not everyone does. Um, it's just not important to everyone or many people just don't want to help themselves or don't know where to start. But it looks here is that you've done a great deal of healing work around yourself and your own self-esteem. Perhaps you are your own teacher and this would be really quite fantastic because it's absolutely possible to do that, particularly in the date in the age of the internet where um, we can be both um, philosopher and scribe, you know, like we can come up with all these great ideas um, it, during the thought process, but also write it all down and share it with everybody else. Um, so you could be in that regard, maybe even straddling two worlds, um, the, the world of thought, whether it's imaginary or uh, memory, um, and then developing an esteem or solidifying your own self-esteem around those thoughts and then uh, transforming that into something that is um, that you're willing to learn something from. See, not, not all has to be lost, even in, even in difficult situations or sad or painful situations, there is a lot to be learned there. Not that anyone wants to stay there, and I don't recommend staying in difficult or harmful or painful situations, um, but certainly if you're willing to spend some time there in terms of what can I learn from that, you um, will definitely benefit from it this week, and it, it certainly appears as though you have uh, what it takes this week to keep building on that. Of course, the, the card... Um, on the other side of wolf here is the beaver and its keyword is literally builder. Um, so it, this is something that you are expanding upon and is making you, I believe, a much, much stronger person um, and a person with a great deal more, I would say, resilience. Um, resilience, probably the best term, um, than, than you've ever had before. But you've you've brought yourself here, and an interesting thing about terms like pride or uh, courage or resilience, these types of terms, it's really interesting, Virgo, to consider that you can't buy these anywhere. You can't just um, order it online. You can't just ask your friend for like, you know, a little bit of resilience. I mean, you can um, build on it, or you can have the self-respect and self-esteem to acquire it and then put it into practice and learn how to constantly apply it um, and see how other people whom you look up to are applying it etc um, but it's something that you truly have to decide for yourself that's important and I really see that's what's going on here I think you're getting yourself out of um, feeling as though you are if you're not stuck on something, then you, then something was bringing you down or causing um, a heaviness in your life. And I just think that you're kind of getting over it here. So this is really beautiful to see. Uh, in your, um, what you're probably already aware of or in the outside position is the deer. The deer's keyword is gentleness. I'm so happy to see this for you. You really, really deserve so much happiness and freedom and pleasantry in your life. Virgo, um, you're one of the hardest working signs of the zodiac. I'm sure you know that. Um, and if if that isn't um, a, a physical thing for you and you're not a sort of a, what we call a workaholic, then you're thoughtful and you're a thinker. So I think in this regard to be gentle with yourself no matter what is occurring here, particularly if this is... Um, a new world for you or, or the self-esteem or the, or the core um, self-worth is still in its infancy so to speak it's important to remind yourself and to remember to be gentle I do think that this is really essential um, and, and like I said particularly if we're in a learning or a teaching environment remember that the teacher is always a student the student is always the teacher um, it's just the way it is. All right, and then with the what you are probably unaware of that you need to know is that there is an element of diversion involved here. Is it a negative thing? Probably not. 
um, if you don't let this get out of hand, um, and if it isn't coming from the outside in. If you yourself are creating a little bit of diversion to get around something or away from something, perhaps just ask what your motivations are for doing that. Um, and instead of reading from left to right, we'll read top to bottom here. We have gentleness, teacher, and then diversion. Um, just remember that um, that I just said a moment ago that this this is not something to self esteem. It's not something that you can buy. So please don't give this up easily and don't give it away easily. Um, this is a source of pride in your life, your self esteem. So really protect it. Um, it's not something you can buy, but it is something people can try to steal from you, right? Um, through gaslighting or um, negativity or abuse of any kind. So uh, maintain and retain your self-esteem, your core sense of self, uh, and keep building on that. So I think I held a couple of these cards up, but forgive me, I don't recall which one. So just briefly... Let's look at Wolf Up Close. I encourage all my viewers, as always, to look at any imagery in the card that is intuitively appealing to you and apply it um, to your predicament or situation this week as well. So something that I may not be seeing that is appealing to you, please uh, make note of that and, um, and run with it. So we have the wolf. You can see there's even a primal cry, okay? The, the primal howl is going on here. There's a full moon. Um, going on here. Um, there may be uh, elements of uh, psychic energy here as well and, and certainly themes having to do with the home or the parent. Okay, and then with the moose, we have self-esteem. This is just such a beautiful majestic animal. If you've ever seen a picture of a moose or you've ever seen one uh, in person, they're actually gargantuan. Mm, I think they're about 11 feet tall and um, they're just beautiful, and so many people want these horns on their wall. Why? This is this is a significant uh, power point. There's a great deal of power here. But like I say, they have to steal. They have to kill for it to get what they consider their own sense of power. But you have it. This is yours. I would really protect this, Virgo. You worked really hard for this, so protect this. Particularly if someone is trying to create a diversion here or if you're tempted into creating a diversion here from your self-esteem. Um, remember here to be gentle. I'll show these cards in just a moment. Let's look at the beaver. This is a probable outcome in terms of what do you need to know? What do you need to know? Keep building, keep going. Don't let anything stop you, Virgo. You're on a, you're on a really uh, lovely path for yourself, one that includes not only a great core sense of self that is indicative to the hard work that you're doing and getting out of pain or distress, but also this will carry you everywhere. Your self-esteem will carry, your, carry you everywhere that you need to go. So treat this as significant as it really truly is. And then with the beaver, of course, we have this really industrious, hardworking animal. Um, this could have something to do with the home in general, but if it doesn't, it's just about the continuation of this hard work. Uh, and it could even be a teacher-student situation going on at work or within a work environment or an industrious environment. And with what you probably are already aware of is the deer. This card's keyword is gentleness. There's just a great deal of beauty around this card. You can see how gorgeous this painting of the deer is. And I mean, if you can't really get a sense of this, just go look up some images of deers and there's something so profoundly awe-inspiring about how gentle and beautiful they really are. Um, and I think that there's a big lesson to be learned there as well, to, to treat yourself in this regard, to be gentle with yourself. Another element um, uh, with regard to the gentleness is to find time in nature, to recall that you are a natural being, an organic being, and to um, reconnect with nature. Uh, and then with the opossum at the bottom, like I said, this is just about diversion. This is just about getting away from or being pulled away from self-esteem um, and industriousness out of building something. Um, like I said, unless this is coming from you and it's just a little bit of what we like to call a break, I would be very, mm, not very suspicious, but I mean be suspicious or... Um, 
watch that someone on the outside um, isn't upsetting the upper half energy of this reading for you, for example, okay, the gentleness, self-esteem, the teacher, and then the building, um, and if this is you, um, try to get to the root of why you would be trying to divert yourself from happiness, health, and wellness, okay, uh, if it isn't, and it's an outside influence, uh, have enough self-respect and self-esteem, uh, Virgo, to not let them in, and to not let them have um, the best parts of you, Okay, the healthy parts of you that you work so hard on. Um, lots. Of, they say misery loves company, um, and especially if you've done any changing in your own life and you've elevated yourself beyond something you were before. You might even still know people who are in difficult situations or things you used to have in common with people even a year or two ago, um, and they want you to be the same. Uh, we have a couple jumpers here. Uh, they want you to be the same, and it's going to be upsetting for them, the other people, um, that you're not the same person. So that's uh, that's for them to deal with. That's that's not your problem. You're not a mean, cruel person. You've just grown. Um, please don't let anyone drag you down is what I'm trying to say here. Okay, with the Treasure Island, this is actually quite beautiful as well. I think this plays part and parcel um, to both of these elements here. This means not only are you aware that you have everything you need within, that you deserve it too. It's it's interesting sometimes what we think that we have or is available to us, yet we refuse to take action on it because we don't believe we deserve it somehow. And it's kind of a mean way to treat ourselves. And I think you're being reminded this week, or at least in terms of what do you need to know, please be reminded this week that to be gentle enough with yourself to remember, look at these hearts and stars, that you are a child, of, a beautiful child of the universe. Who deserves all the beautiful, um, joyous, wondrous things in life, and that you deserve to feel good. And not only that, not only can you achieve these goals through gentleness while being kind to yourself and others, but that you yourself could very well be who people are looking for. When all this is said and done, Virgo, I really feel here because you have what's inside and you've tapped into it and you've gotten into this space that a lot of people are either, I wouldn't say afraid, but certainly uh, and, uh, trepidatious about, but don't take the time. They don't value this. Um, you could be the person that people end up turning to um, one day, Virgo, because of how you've achieved this level of awareness and beauty and um, industriousness where you've taken care of yourself through difficult situations and maintain your self-esteem. It's actually quite beautiful to see. Um, but I do think you're finally in this position where you're like, oh, all the good things that are coming to me, I actually deserve. And you feel it, right? You don't just think it. Um, this is the difference between self-esteem and, say, attitude. I mean... Um, or self-esteem and habits. <laughs> like if you have a strong self-esteem and you've got an old bad habit, your self-esteem isn't going to let you keep treating yourself or someone else badly. It just isn't. So I think um, this newfound self-esteem, or at least what is being drawn into this week, is going to teach you healthy limitations, healthy boundaries, um, taking things one step at a time. That that the um, route to goals, to the goals and success is through gentleness and treating yourself kindly. So we're just going to look for one more card here. If we don't get another jumper in the next three shuffles, I will pull from the center of the deck. All right. Wow. Okay. So we have divine timing here. I'm actually not shocked to see this because I really feel, listen, at the very beginning of the spread, I said, when the teacher is ready, the student appears. It's the exact same the other way around, Virgo. When the student are ready, is ready, the teacher appears. When the teacher is ready, the student appears. You literally cannot teach. I mean, it's like if a tree falls in the forest, right? Like you can be a teacher all you want, but without a student, what do you do? 
with and and again with the, you can be a student you can be studious industrious be ready to learn um without but without that person to learn from or to guide you uh you're going to be floundering you're going to be left to your own devices so I really feel that this is an element of true divine timing for you, that you feel that this is the right time and place for you and that you are part and parcel of bringing it together, but only through having asked for help and having asked for guidance and even having perhaps even stated, um, I'm willing to do this. You know what, God? Listen, if you can love me this much, I can love me this much too. And I really hope that's what's going on for you, Virgo, because you really deserve this. This is your special time. So I hope that you like that. And if you have a moment, please let me know in the comments below how this works out for you this week. And if you're not already, make sure you subscribe because I upload videos for your sign every week. So until we meet next time, Virgo, please take good care of yourself. And I will see you then. Bye for now.